Hello everyone, it's Sue here from Sizzling Towards 60 and Beyond and welcome to Self-Care Sunday with Sue. This week I want to talk to you about prioritising your time and letting go of things that aren't important to you. Now we all get busy and we need to look at really sometimes why we're being busy. And this week uh, I've felt a little bit overwhelmed myself with, with a few things that are going on in life and it was very timely to receive a, a couple of emails that were talking about prioritising our time. And the first one I received from Mark and Angel Hack Life and what they were talking about was you know, having a look at our life, seeing what we do with our time, are we just you doing things to fill in time or are we doing things to enrich our life and we need to be able to focus on what is important and uh, let go of um, the things that just aren't fulfilling us anymore and what they were talking about was you need to focus on growth and stop managing your time and start managing your focus and that really resonated with me because as I was trying to work through how I'd got myself into a situation where I was juggling all these balls and just dropping them all um, and made me step back and focus on what we need to do and they came up with seven points that I wanted to share with you today and the first thing is that your quality of life really is made by you. You set the rules for your life, you're in charge for that and with what you set and the way you respect your priorities is how your life will be. So remember you're in control. That takes me to another point of being able to say no. We can't say yes to everybody but it's so easy um, to get caught up with saying no, uh, with, with saying yes because we just feel guilty if we do say no. So we need to be a little bit more particular about what's important to us and being able to say no and uh, you know with and not do things that we really don't want to do um, or commit ourselves to things that later on we regret. I don't have time. Now Mark and Angel suggest that that's just really another way of saying it's not that important to me. So if you say, I don't have time for something, have a look at it and think, how important is it to me whether I do this or not? And if it isn't important, let it go. Don't waste your time trying to fight against things that happen in your life. Now, sometimes, you know, you're feeling a bit um, uh, overwhelmed or demotivated. You just have to accept that and then move on to, um, taking stock, being kind to yourself and being able to uh, move on from where you're feeling. We have to be present and mindful because that really helps us to focus on what we're doing and the importance of it to us. Uh, we also need to stop over committing, a bit like I said we're saying no and that's one of my biggest problems I overcommit myself thinking I can do it all and then suddenly I'm juggling all these balls and I'm not doing a very good job. The last thing is to be able to sit back and take 15 minutes or so just to reflect on what's happening in your life and go through and say what is something that I can let go of. So the other email that I received this week which resonated with me was from Daily On and they were talking about you time which is really the same as me time, but it means preparing yourself for the next day. So if you take a few times a night, a few minutes a night before to have a look at what the next day is going to bring and just see if there's any ways, anywhere that you might need to adjust or to take the pressure off what things are priorities and what uh, can be left for another day or what you can let go of. So today I'd like you to just take time out and write down what is important to you in your life, what your priorities are and what you can let go of. And I'm sure that you'll feel a burden has been lifted uh, once you've done that exercise. Have a great day and I'll see you next week for Self Care with Sue.